What's up guys, welcome to Blake's Garage. Today we're gonna be working with this guy right here, the Golden Mate Orion 1000. This is their uh, Golden Mate new lithium ion offering, which is pretty sweet, and we're gonna be hooking it up in the 4Runner. Lithium ion batteries are great because you can run these all the way down and they can recharge up, unlike a you know wet cell battery with plates. You can only drain those to about 50% before they start running into issues. So this is really awesome. Golden Mate seal right here. I think I have a code for these, which should just be Blake's Garage, or I'll leave it uh, down in a link in the description to where you can pick one of these up. But for any of you overlanding guys or anybody that's like running some interesting, you know, setups where you need auxiliary power, this is going to be a good setup for you. So we got some lugs, which is great. So we can make up some wires. Uh, we got this little guy right here and uh, we got this one as well, 485B on it. It almost looks like it has some CAN bus stuff on it as well, which is interesting. Uh, then we got the little manual and watch we'll and check this out. Oh yeah, look at this, dude. It's the new one. This thing is sick. Like, come on, that battery looks Badass. It's in its own little uh, enclosure, which is really cool. Um, and you can see the terminal lugs have these little guys that screw on them. Um, because we're oh wow, that's great. It has an encapsulated uh bolt, which is stainless steel. Wow, this is put together very nicely. Oh, yeah, that was satisfying. And then it's got a little touch. Wow, check that out. 78% charge, dude, this is sick. Wow, that's just where it like lights up and it tells us a little bit about the battery. 78% charge. That is pretty fancy if you ask me. So, we doing more with this. Oh, I bought these small Jackery and I have that hooked up to my fridge when necessary if I need to bring it inside or don't wanna run it off the car. Um, I made a quick connection like this with these little Anderson plugs, um, works out pretty good. And this just goes to the little 12 volt connection. Golden Mate sent me out this model Orion 1000, which is a really, really nice looking battery. This thing is very high quality as well. Um, but, you know, I'm kind of was trying to figure out what do I want to do with this thing? And it's really neat because it has a actual screen in it, which I did kind of rough up. You just, uh, let me see, you touch it. Where do you touch it? Right here, 95 percent you can see i'm using 37 watts at the time and it's got a little output gauge and that's obviously the percentage of charge now after a second that'll basically go away now i kind of had to figure out a solution that i wanted to do with this thing so i zip tied it down here in the corner and i'm going to be using this as an additional power output uh for my jackery really because i got this little guy it's the uh i want to say it's the 250 it is very hot in my car though right now and this thing did overheat uh just a little bit ago when i came out to the car because like i said it, it's like 109 out or something my cooler i did not have it on it's at 98 that thing's kicking on the compressor to uh 31 degrees we're just trying to um lock it down and get it down cool again but you can see currently this thing is outputting 74 watts it's inputting 39 watts now what's cool is i literally i'm just using i want to say these are called uh, sae cables and um i actually got these from harbor freight now i was trying to figure out something in order to like hook this up better and i, I will put some you know ends on these or whatever put the battery terminals down and uh, cover up the battery terminals here so nothing shorts out but this little sae input you can see we're still outputting 75 or so watts but i got all the jam on this bad boy real quick so all i actually have to do is hit this on the input and it'll actually charge my power supply and also just kind of straight run it off here as well so you can see i'm inputting 40 and i'm outputting 75 which uh you know it's not really keeping up at the moment however it should so i'm gonna let this thing run for a little bit we were at 99 a second ago we're already at 96 see how long this kind of takes to uh, kick down and then after that basically this battery this 100 amp hour battery or 1280 watt hour battery right here is going to charge up my jackery from 29 percent, hopefully up to 100 and then you know i can kind of charge it from there uh what i've been doing in the past is just using this jackery off of my ac inverter on the car 
right here and uh, charging it off of that with just the basic little input, you know, off my standard 120, which isn't horrible. Um, you know, it works okay. Then the other thing that I do, because I have a dual battery setup, is I also have these Anderson connections right here that go to my secondary battery, which I am running two Odyssey batteries. And uh, that's normally what I was running this off of, but after about a year or so, it just decided to kind of like kill off my secondary battery. And now I was kind of trying to come up with a good solution. Now I was gonna run a power inverter off of this and kind of make a like ded dedicated power inverter. I may actually end up kind of like putting this over here, but I basically just tied this down to the uh, tie down so it won't really fly around and just kind of put it back here temporarily while we go camping in a couple days. But I wanna see how well this works. Um, it's just gonna get us that extra watt hours that I need and bump me up, which is pretty cool. So we're at 92, 91 degrees. This thing is cooling off. Um, come back out here in a sec and uh, see how it's doing. So what's really cool is that battery input is able to keep up and keep this thing charged. I've just been driving, uh, camping, and yeah, it keeps my uh, thingy charged, which is cool. So after 100 degree heat in Sacramento and two full days, basically, um, we're at 44% on this extra battery, and this is at 98%, but it basically, well, charges it up when it feels like it, which is cool, and keeps it topped off. So right now, if I unplug this and then plug this back in, what do we got? We got 39 watts. Sweet. 99%, and this is at 36%. Pretty good, one more night, worked out well. Okay, coming back from my camping trip, 99% on that Jackery. So it's been loading it up the whole time. 34% on my battery here. And then, you know, my fridge is running at, uh, my fridge was supposed to be running at 31 degrees, but now it's 50 degrees, so that's not great. Anyways, I don't know why that turned off. So yeah, this worked out absolutely great. I just literally used a zip tie. I know it's a little bit ghetto, but uh, I, I'm able to remove these with a knife just by pulling back that tab. Super easy, straightforward, just to throw in the corner over here of the 4Runner, keep it going good. And I still got 34% left on that battery, 98% left on this because it was cycling and charging the Jackery. So I actually really like that method of output because then I could get my USBs working here. If I needed AC, I could obviously hit my AC on or whatever if necessary uh only thing i saw was this did get into an overheat mode it was 110 degrees out so yeah if it gets really hot in the car when the ac was on i think it was fine but if it gets really hot this could overheat so there is a slight problem with that so i might want to just run the fridge right off of this battery directly uh when in the car for a long period of time but yeah 34 percent we're gonna put this on the lipo polymer charger and uh get this thing charged back up but I actually really enjoyed having the extra juice here. That was really nice. So also it's really cool. I put it on my Lipo Palmer charger. I got this one for the M4 because it has a Lipo Palmer, nice and lightweight. Uh, but this shows 32 watts of input and it shows input right there, 34%. So this thing will charge up until it has proper input. But yeah, this is really cool. Also show, uh, this, or this has a Bluetooth capability as well, which is pretty sweet. We got it back up to 99%. Uh, this battery's awesome. I, I love the fact of how easy it is to just pop in and uh, use that SAE connector and basically jump it up. I also bought a power inverter that I thought I was gonna run off this and I decided against that because like, honestly, out there when I'm camping, I don't really need a lot of 120 volt stuff. Most of my items are 12 volt or run off USB. So this thing just makes that go so much further um, and it's really awesome. In the future, I do want to do some sort of solar setup on top of my 4Runner and, you know, do some sort of input into this to charge this battery and kind of keep it going. But yeah, overall, super happy with this gold main battery. Um, I'll leave a code down below if you guys are interested in picking one up. I think there's like a little discount code or whatever. So a uh, huge shout out to these guys. But yeah, very cool way to extend the life of your power supply or your, your little power station if you guys are unaware. Uh, spend the money on the battery instead of the actual, you know, station. I got the small one because it's a small little package that I can use 
and doesn't take up a ton of room. Obviously, you can get a huge one of these things, but, you know, it's unnecessary a lot of the time. If I'm only going for one day, you know, I can just use my regular little Jackery. But if I know I'm going to do a multiple day camping trip and I need my fridge going, this is going to be the go-to. So, awesome. Love it. Leave your comments down below and let me know what you think.